Hey guys, I want to show you this real fast, down and dirty. Two things arrived in my email back to back today. One is the Moji Toolbar version 16, it's done. Second is the Moji Pro version 1.5. So just to show you how fast a run can be right now, because we're still doing step-by-steps and everything for backlinking purposes, but let me just take a website. Let's say mojiaffiliate.com here, right? Moji-affiliate.com, some affiliate link to TFAM OG stuff. You know, the links click through and all that kind of thing. All right, so how fast can I do the Moji run almost without talking? <laughs> okay, let me just show you. Then I got the longer video that breaks it down. Here I create my project, right? I will need a text file. That's certain. Base. How's that? Wow. That way I can put stuff on it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Import web page, moji-affiliate.com. There I go. Universal. That's done. Universal fixes. Make sure it says moji-affiliate at the bottom. That's done. Uh, code to VARS. That's done. Break out the thesaurus. And, of course, this is me cheating, right? Because the words are going to be crap. <laughs> but just to show you. So just typical spinning. That's done. I got to get rid of funky characters like tildes. So just replace editor. Wait for that. That's done. And then I need my header generator. Now this is a cool way to do your header generator. Watch this. I'm going to copy. Stick it on another sheet. That way I can use code reassembly with a space puts everything in exactly the A1 cell and I'm gonna run the replace editor one more time just to doubly check it I got it copy stick it in here paste and close it and I can come back and I can take that top line out I can remove SSS columns and that's done and so now file save as a CSV file right CSV inside that MA folder on my desktop I'm gonna just call it vars vars.csv so where are we at <laughs> base rename.html there I have it here's how it looks I still got to fix question mark spaces, but everything else is correct. All that stuff is done. Commas, periods, everything are done. It's all good. I believe that's it. So let me just make that one change. Had to replace a space question mark with a question mark. That's because you can't do that in Excel. It understands a question mark differently. Save. All right, that's good. And my VARs are done. And so I can do what now? I can open Moji Pro. the v1.5 and I can browse because I want to do this now that's the right folder base uh, vars that's where it's gonna go if I was putting it on moji-affiliate.com maybe in a project called like tfan-project that would be there <clears throat> don't have the FTP info for it let's do like a hundred file count heck let's do a thousand <laughs> and then uh, save it and I'll save it in there as MA dash one, let's say, like the first variation I want to do on this thing to see how it goes. Oh, that's right. It doesn't like capitals in the links. Fine. There shouldn't be capitals in the links anyway. It doesn't make sense. All right. Now, oh, let's cheat. Uh, and then um, what do I want? You know, something else, right? Just anything will do. All right. How about like astronomical results? And then um, underground marketing videos. Fine. Online dash marketing dash solutions slash online dash marketing dash solutions dash system slash astronomical results slash underground marketing videos I'm done save it and now I could process it but this is the v1.5 
I don't need to process it directly. I can go ahead and create a batch file. So let me just snatch one from somewhere else and modify it. So here we go. Get a batch file. Copy it. Stick it up in here. Edit it. First rename it. How about calling it like MA-1, right? That way I can keep everything, you know, correct. Edit. Uh, it's going to run the program auto profile path. It's going to be what? Profile path to the profile. Control C. There. And then it's just called what? There's the profile. Uh, get the whole thing. May as well. And I have it. That's it. There. Save. Now let me go ahead and run it. And it's just going to run until it's done. I can put as many different commands as I want inside a single batch file. And as you know, I can stick that in a Windows scheduler. So my computer will run the thing once every whatever I tell it to, like Wednesday at 2 a.m. or anything like that. And so I don't even have to touch it anymore. It'll just do whatever I say. And I can still edit all the files, edit the base file to stick in backlinks or something or whatever, edit the VARs if I want to clean them up or do something new with them, edit the profile if I want to change the URL breakdown to create different linking structures to test like geography slash product slash feature uh, versus product slash feature slash geography, whatever it is I want to do. And while it just finished running, I was going to say we can go in the runs and take a look. Date, timestamp, folder, I can rename to anything I want so I know what it is. MA-1. Uh, and I could call it like run one, you know, so one dash. Uh, MA-1. Anything like that. Uh, there you go. This is cool. Here it is. It's all optimized for Google, all the folder structures. And then we have our index pages sitemap. If I go in any of the folders... I got all my subfolders that apply to that folder. There you go. And inside there, another subfolder. Can you imagine doing that manually? That'd be insane, wouldn't it, for all that stuff? And, of course, it reads like crap because I didn't go through the VARs. But anyway, take a look. TFAM Virtual Selling Solutions. That and the meta description, if I were to look at that. Uh, TFAM On-Screen Advertising Answers, da-da-da-da-da. But all that's different page by page. So that Google likes what it sees. Just absolutely everything is different. Oh, so the titles are different. The meta descriptions are different. You know, everything. Virtual presentation explanations. I mean, we can get the pages indexed because they're new. Except that, of course, they don't read right. Because they didn't actually do the virus properly. You know that. Anybody knowing spinner syntax knows that. Knows how that works. Uh, here's what's new in V1.5. Index is now a variation, okay? So it's not the original. And that's because we find that we do a lot of runs into subfolders, and the index page would always be the same every time you did a run into subfolders. So if you did a main page and then you use the same, um, same files to create side pages, side menu pages, then you wind up with all these index pages being the same. Well, you only want one to be the same. And guess what that, like if you did, if, if you want the original content, that's the backup. Index2.html is based on the original row. That is, it's based on the actual original wording. So if that's cool, if this isn't from somewhere else, if it's your own, then you have it. All you would have to do is delete the index.html and rename the index2 to index. That's it. That way it shows up as the front page. Aside from that... We've got our UTF-8 encoded, I mean not word wrap, UTF-8 encoded um, sitemap.txt so we can upload it to Google Webmasters so Google sees all the links that we want them to see, but we don't even have to do that. This will be on the site. As long as I put a sitemap link somewhere on the page, then <laughs> there you go. So everything is organized in the project, and then look at the variability. It's absolutely awesome, the kind of thing that Google likes, because these fill holes in their algorithms. And the wording, of course, comes right off the pages. So if I look in this page, when I upload it, then on-screen advertising mixtures, accessible marketing, blah, 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 these words are on that page. So the match is there, URLs to the wording on the page. It's all silent. Everything is cool. Now, did you see how fast that happened? I don't know how long that video took. You saw all you needed to see. You understand what's going on. You're 
you're probably flipping. <laughs> so, how do you get it? If you have access to the moji-crew.com forums, the Moji forums, then the Toolbar V16 in the spirit of Christmas holidays, that is a $30 upgrade. And for those of you who already have the Moji Pro software, you get all the upgrades for free, of course. So you get the Moji Toolbar version 16 for free and the Moji Tool or the Moji Pro version 1.5 for free. That stuff will be delivered sometime tomorrow, I think. And so be looking for that link inside the forums. It'll be somewhere obvious, like in the announcements form or in the main day-to-day -day form, the Moji forums. And you'll see where you can pick up the Toolbar V16 as soon as that link goes live. And um, that'll be tonight or tomorrow. And the Moji Pro is available, so there you have it. <laughs> I'll bet you never thought a run could be that fast. So the only time you got to spend is on the VAR sheet, just getting the wording right. And then a little bit of time on the URL structure to make sure it makes sense. And that's it. How fast can you do runs now? All right.